This is Helvetia, the symbol of Switzerland. She is going to tell us how the Federal Council works. Other countries have presidents, prime ministers and sometimes even kings and queens. Here, in Switzerland, things are different. There is no one single head of state. Our government, that is to say the Federal Council, has seven members, all with an equal say in the decision-making process. Parliament elects one of the seven members to be the President of the Swiss Confederation for one year. The President has a primarily representative function. The office does not give the hold a special influence. That is how the people who drew up the Federal Constitution in 1848 intended it. For them, there was no question of power being put in the hands of a single person. So, what is the President's actual role? The President chairs the meetings of the Federal Council. At the same time, he or she continues to head one of the government departments. The President represents Switzerland on visits abroad and at events at home. The head of state, however, is the Federal Council as a whole. This is well illustrated when a foreign head of state pays an official visit to Switzerland. All seven Federal Councillors plus the Federal Chancellor are there on the red carpet to give the visitor an official welcome. So the President of the Swiss Confederation can enjoy a bit of glamour, but just for a while. Each year, the presidency rotates to the next person in the Federal Council. It's like a relay race. Each runner holds the baton for a time before passing it on to the next. The success of the team depends on each and every member. And it's just the same in the Federal Council. <laughs>